afternoon folks and welcome back to the WTF shack and uh, today the uh, the latest thing on the bench is a Drake TR7 which uh, we're going to try and sort out. This radio, just to give you a bit of background, um, I've had this for a while and I uh, sold it on eBay and uh, it was all done in good faith. Um, and it was working fine and when it got to the uh, buyer um, he wasn't happy with it because the display wasn't working um, some of the characters weren't uh, working very well as some of you might know the the Drake this particular um, uh, transceiver is quite a well it's considered quite a sort of classic um, amateur radio rig and it's got a sort of old-fashioned red LED uh, type 7 segment uh, display. Anyhow, uh, so when he got this thing it didn't work and uh, he wasn't uh, uh, very happy with that and I sort of explained to him, well, you know, it's a vintage rig, you know, sometimes these ha happen, it might just be a loose connection. Uh, but anyway, um, he wanted his money back so I sent it back to him, so he sent it back and it was all settled. Uh, end of story. Uh, and to be honest with you, when I actually got the rig back, I thought to myself, well, actually, this is actually quite a nice radio and uh, I should probably actually keep it. So I decided to do that. And um, when I took the back off, I found where the problem was immediately. Uh, the um, Some of the segments on the uh, LED display are totally broken. And I, when I sent it to him, it, it was working fine. I know that for a fact, and anyway, I wrapped it all up in bubble wrap, and um, I, it's very difficult to see how it had actually been broken, because you would have had to have a direct hit on the display, and I know that wouldn't have happened because it was so wrapped up. Uh, my, my own conclusion is that it may have been damaged actually uh, predating to the time when I had it, um, but it, because the whole thing was sort of um, all in the enclosure, it was holding the seven segment uh, plastic uh, display modules together and I think the journey um, to the uh, the buyer concerned must have probably jolted them and obviously the whole thing just fell apart because certainly when I opened it up took the display board out all the little bits sort of came out and um, yeah so that was the diagnosis so what I'm going to do t today I'm going to uh, install the uh, new uh, display module or the the seven segment display which I managed to find uh, a spare they're not easy to find but I did did find a spare for it um, they are quite pricey I paid about 50 pounds had to get it from Canada but anyway it came the other day um, so what we've done is we're going to uh, refit that into this um, uh, Drake TR7 now I have already taken out the uh, the board which has the actual display module on it so I've sort of done that already but we'll show you that in a minute so uh, let's uh, let's crack on with that and uh, hopefully it won't take too long to uh, to sort out so here's the uh, Drake TR7 and uh, for those not familiar it's considered uh, sort of quite a uh, classic amateur radio transceiver um, and it was possibly one of the sort of first solid state transceivers with lots of bells and whistles from the early 1980s uh, produced by uh, uh, Drake in, in the in the uh, in the States and uh, yeah they're, they're quite sought after and uh, they're quite nice rigs actually and just to show you this has got the uh, the power supply and the ATU as well which is currently sort of on its end at the moment while I'm sorting it out it's underneath the bench and this is the uh, the graphics or oh, I should say the uh, display getting confused with computers the display uh, card lots of old-school integrated circuits there probably you might battle to get most of those these days and uh, just to show you what the problem is so that's the I'm trying to hold this with one hand and the computer with the other I'll put it like that I think to so get it into focus 
So that's the problem uh, <coughs> which you can see and the those are the seven segment display modules which were which were which were basically sort of floating around in the uh, display area. So I reckon what's what's probably happened as you know as I mentioned I think that these may have already been um, broken uh, predating the time that I actually got hold of this receiver and and you know the the actual journey to the uh, eBay buyer probably uh, just dislodged them completely to the state that they weren't working. So what we'll do is try and get this uh, set up so that we can solder the new bits onto it. So these are the uh, new uh, display parts that we got and uh, what we're going to have to do is solder those back in. It does come with this little header strip but I don't think we'll need to use that. If we look at the actual board we can we can see there that it's already got a header strip so I think uh, we'll just take that off and then put the new one back on I think so the first job I'm going to do is uh, try and remove this uh, display module using some de I'm going to desolder it with some desoldering wick I've just got this board stuck in my uh, vise at the moment seems to be coming off reasonably okay right so I've um, I've got the uh, the new display uh, board in position so I'm going to uh, I'm going to solder it on uh, if I can just find my solder. It was a bit of a struggle to remove actually. I had to uh, use the heat gun, even though the solder wick picked up most of the solder. Um, there was a bit of solder still left, so it was a little bit of a struggle. Uh, but anyway, it's off and uh, we'll put the new one on. I've um, <clears throat> I've put the uh, the display boards back on now, and I've actually uh, put the the double digit one. Uh, what I noticed is that the old one was slightly different in colour in, in terms of the uh, um, the sort of red filter thing that's on it, uh, and I think it might have um, looked a bit a bit funny. So um, yeah, I've replaced all of them. So. Hopefully it should be okay. So now we've got to just get this board back into the uh, transceiver. I think there is a bit of a knack in getting this in. Um,
Just got to wiggle it in, I think. There's pins underneath it. I've got a special tool here. Let's lift it into position. for them where the pins are. I think that's in actually. Just as a top tip for anybody who's uh, got one of these and has a similar sort of problem, if you need to take this board out, you've got to use something like this. This is a little piece of aluminium I made with a bend and you hook it underneath there and you pull. And that, because, it, because there's multi-pin plugs underneath here, you have to hook it underneath there with that hole and you pull it out so um, just a piece of aluminium with a hook on the end it does seem to work I think that is in so I think what we'll do is pull the plugs back in there's a screw to go on there so I've got to try and find that right um, I've got it connected up to the power supply and now for the moment of truth will it or will it not work? well it's giving some, some weird weird things there not quite working Let's have a look at that. Okay guys, um, I finally managed to sort this display out. So the um, there was a couple of problems with uh, some of the solder joints. Some of the solder hadn't reflowed onto the other opposite side of the uh, seven segment display board. Uh, so some of the <laughs> that was the reason why some of the segments weren't working. But anyway, um, I took the board out again and uh, we've fixed it and the rig is, um, and the, more importantly the display uh, is working actually alright. The only issue is that the two segment display is just a little bit off from where the um, what's the word, where the little display is on the um, actual chassis so uh, if you're looking at it from, a, from, the, from the far right uh, you can't see the um, uh, the most far uh, right um, digit which um, it's, um, I just think we can live with that to be honest uh, I'm not taking it out again because I, you know the more you fiddle with it if you want to try and we could sort of uh, try and shift over it but then we risk damaging things and uh, to be honest with you I mean if I just twiddle it around it's actually not such a problem I mean you know I'm sure people I'm sure you know, you know, if, if somebody bought this again, or if I was to sell it, I'm sure uh, most people are, you know can expend the energy to move their head slightly in order to uh, look at the display. I mean, you know, it's an old rig. Let's face it. Anyhow, um, I'm, I'm going to put the back on this, and we're going to call it a day, and uh, put this somewhere in the uh, uh, shack. Try and find space for it. Um, in some ways, I'm quite, I don't regret. Uh, having not sold it and it was sent back I suppose uh, it's destined to stay in the WTF anyway folks all for now uh, catch you again soon cheers